Literally, the minor pentatonic whenever all the other scales fail me. This one needs some explanation. If you take any scale, let's take a minor scale. The scale itself goes like this. There's a lot of notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the octave. I want one or two more guitar. Who cares? Pentatonic as pena, which is five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the octave. So it's kind of easier to learn, easier to play. And it fits songs easier because it doesn't have this note. It doesn't have this note. So seven minus these two is five. It's easier to fit over any chords because there's no second and no sixth. Basically, pentatonic is easier than any other scale in terms of fitting it to some music. And it's usually the first thing anybody ever learns on guitar. By the way, I'm Badushra and I'm the greatest expert on guitars and guitar memes in the entire world and maybe even on YouTube. Jokes aside, I'm Adishram, this is my channel, I want to try and make the world better by making it have more songs, preferably mine and yours. I have enough guitars, buy two guitars today. That's the gear acquisition syndrome, the GIS or gas, and it happens to literally everybody who's ever bought some music related gear. You keep buying amps, you keep buying effect pedals, you keep buying guitars if you have enough money. This is a never ending struggle, but the truth is you only need one guitar basically, maybe a bass and a processor or plugins in your computer. Practicing guitar, playing the same song over and over. Yeah, <laughs> if you like a song, you keep playing it over and over. You don't really want to practice because practice is boring and playing scales and stuff. Songs, on the other hand, are fun. But when you're playing a song, you do practice. So this is a special case of this. So I don't think playing one song over and over is not practicing. It actually is. Can we have a guitar processor? No, we have a guitar processor at home. Guitar processor at home. <laughs> Basically, this is a never-ending debate which is better, a processor all-in-one or a pedal board, a set of guitar pedals. I prefer guitar processors because you can play them out of the box. You don't have too many controls, you don't have too many things lying around. There's just one power source and it's all very compact. On the other hand, this whole choosing the pedals and Taking care of them and arranging them is an art in itself. So whichever fits you best. Index finger, middle and ring finger, pinky finger. Yeah, it is exactly the way it happens. Let me show you. I'll take a bass for that. The thing behind that, if you've never played a guitar, basically your strongest fingers are these three. Probably this one being the strong strongest, this one. Because it's bigger, the muscles are bigger. And pinky is the smallest, so it's the weakest. So it's kind of hard to press the string down enough for it not to do this buzzing sound. And it doesn't build up as much speed as the rest of your fingers if you don't practice it enough. But as long as you practice your pinky works as any other finger. Many beginner guitarists tend to avoid playing with the pinky finger. I totally recommend you include it, incorporate it in your practice routines and make it as strong as you can. Thank me later. Why does this pedal look like a minion? I don't know, I don't like those small compact pedals. I don't like guitar pedals though, I like processors. Anyways, here's Wonderwall. This meme comes up every time we review memes. One Fred song tab by Rob Scalen. <laughs> Ultimate guitar tabs, yeah, that's what you call one. Fred. These are two frets if you didn't notice. Fret 4, fret 5. If you don't know how to read tabs, take your guitar, find the string and it's the D tuning. You find the D string if you have any. Find the fourth fret, find the fifth fret and go jing jing. In the new year I will actively start playing the guitar. <laughs> yep. New Year's promises are always kept as they say. This one's pretty complicated, it mixes up statistics and guitar playing. So, drop D is awesome for beginners. Yes, it's easier to play drop D when you're a beginner. Then when you grow up in terms of guitar, you kind of say drop D sucks because it's easier to play, you need to play fancier stuff. When you're the master, you master your guitar, then drop D becomes interesting again because you can find different patterns with it. And drop D is basically when you take your E string and drop it to a D. And then instead of this shape, I'm turning back. Before dropping the fixed string, your power chord shape is like this. So it's the root note, the fifth, and the root note again an octave higher. Still pretty easy to play, nothing difficult. But if you tune your guitar down to a D, your power chords go like this. Root, fifth, 
wrote. And it's easier to play because you use just one finger. And the open, drop D, power chord, is nothing. You don't need your hand to do that. So. This technique actually streamlines guitar sales because the easier it is to produce at least something, the more guitars you're gonna sell to the people who want to produce something easily. So drop D is fun. I don't really know how to play drop D well, so I don't use it. It's not because it sucks. It's because I don't have the experience. I prefer standard E tuning. Now for the statistics. This is a curve showing normal distribution. The Gaussian curve, the distribution named after Gauss, which says that the majority is in the middle and there's some little minorities to the far left and to the far right. Basically, that's about the frequencies of occurrences of things within the curve. And these numbers below the red ones make no sense. But the idea does. So the majority think drop D sucks, except for the very beginners and the very experienced guitar players. NASA's first picture of a black hole was released today. It wasn't released today, but it was released pretty recently. And it's very accurate. You can see the accretion disk or how they call it. And you can see the picks you lost. That is why I absolutely recommend you use a pick holder, glue it to your guitar and there it is. Did I just drop my headphones? I did. Have it right there. I have one pick and it's right there. And I've never lost it for over 15 years. I replace it when it gets filed down, but I never lose my pick. But the meme is, if you put your pick anywhere, look away, then look back, you're not gonna find it. Probably because it's in the black hole. What people think guitar legends look like, what guitar legends really look like. Hmm, that's a nice one. Neuron activation, monkey sees action. <laughs> this is a pun. Action is guitar slang, which means this distance between the strings and the fretboard. So how many fingers you can put between your strings and the fretboard, basically. How many millimeters, nanometers are there. The go-to action is when you can stuck a pick in it. This is the guitar action how high your strings basically are and the lower the strings the easier it is to play the more comfortable the guitar is but at a certain point you have to control your attack so that there's not too much buzzing sound because the lower the strings the more the buzzing sound it's great to play bass with lower action because you can slap and pop easier me at guitar lessons with other people around <laughs> me in my room with my dog being the only thing and judge me for comedic purposes you might want to reverse the meme for this picture to go first this one to go second just saying is this gauge thick enough <laughs> <laughs> I'd guess this is either a plumbing thing you put in the pipe or that is a piano string, the thickest piano string. Not sure. Let me know in the comments which one this is. My guitar is having phase issues. <laughs> Never liked this shape of guitars like the Dean and you know, these kind of monster inspired, spooky looking with a lot of curves carved in. I prefer classical shapes. All oh, guitars must be electric by 2023. Hi, I'm Badusha and I approve this message. Are you gonna play that guitar or wear it like a piece of clothing? To give her credit, she does play guitar and plays it sufficiently well. And she's like one of the most successful people who can play the guitar ever. So I wouldn't be too bossy there. When you realize Taylor Swift stole Little Wayne's red less Paul. They just have the same kind of a guitar while, while stealing it. No, no, nobody stole anything. And I don't think that is the same guitar. You can see the marks on the fretboard, those inlays, they're not there on the Wayne's guitar. So there you have it. Case closed. Okay, that's a humbucker. A humbucker with a U-H-U-M bucker is a type of guitar pickup like this one I have right here, which has two rows of magnets and they work together, reducing the amount of noise and producing a higher output. This guitar has a single coil, this tele style guitar, and this tiny one, they both have a single coil kind of a pickup, just a different kind of a pickup. None of them is better, but this one's hilarious. A hamburger. <laughs> Music shop employees chasing the people playing the first note of the stereo to heaven. This meme is overrated. You can play anything you wish in a music store. I've always wanted to learn the guitar, but I... Yeah, at the very least, 10 minutes a day. Please be silent. This one is not very funny, but is very true. If someone wants to learn a guitar, there's nothing stopping them. A cheap guitar costs like a hundred bucks tops. And I mean like a decent guitar, one you can actually play. And at least 10 minutes a day, I'd recommend at least a half an hour. But... 
you know, at least 10 minutes a day is available to literally anyone. It's about one thing not being able to in this case. Crunchy overdrive. <laughs> that is the crunchiest overdrive I've seen so far. Holy cow, a humbucker door. I don't know about you, but back where I'm from, we have these code locks all over the country. Like literally every door has one of these and that's just a code lock, which makes no sense because over time these get polished with fingers and you know the code, but it does look like a humbucker, five string humbucker that could be on a base, for example. Why is your back always hurting? No idea. Does your dog bite? No, but she can hurt you in other ways. Your tone sucks. Not hurt. I think tone is very individual and if you like a certain tone, do pursue the tone. Don't listen to anyone because it doesn't really matter. Tones are not that different from each other and it's only matter of taste. If you like your tone, who cares? And I mean this both positively and negatively. It's not the tone that matters. It's your fingers that play music. It's your brains that generate music. It's your rhythm that makes it all come together. It's not about the tone. It's not about the gear. It's all about the skill and the music that you play. Thank you for watching the video till the very end and not skipping any bit of it. It lets YouTube know the video is interesting and it promotes the video across the platform. And most importantly, makes me happy. And I wish you all of the best with your guitar playing and buying your guitars and buying your guitar gear, because you're awesome. <laughs>